At the end of June 2003, India's Ranthambore National Park experienced its worst drought in the past three and a half years. Rivers, lakes and swamps were drying up, creating tension between the park's apex predators, tigers and mugger crocodiles, animals that usually do not tend to interact with each other. A few days earlier the tigress Makli had caught a sambar deer, leaving the freshly killed prey, the tigress went after her cubs. But when she returned, a group of crocodiles take over the deer carcass. Whether it was revenge or coincidence, the next time she encountered the crocodile, she violently attacked him. It sounds like a scene from a work of art, but this event took place in reality. Some footage of this confrontation was filmed and, despite its poor quality, gained wide popularity on the internet. The fight lasted 13 hours and ended with Mackley ripping out her opponent's shoulder. However, there is some controversy over the details of this popular confrontation. Parashah, the ranger who observed this interaction, reported in a documentary that the fight tasted an hour and a half, with the tigress holding down the crocodile's tail while she tried to reach its neck and deliver a killing bite until she ripped out his shoulder. Parashar said that for the first time in his life he saw an attack, and, moreover, the killing of a large crocodile by an adult tiger. However, Ruchira Saumawara and co-authors in the article, The Role of Predation in Shaping Crocodilian Natural History, also citing Parashar's observations, reported that the fight lasted about 13 hours. Similar data can be found on the Tiger Nation website. It is difficult to imagine an active struggle between a tiger and a crocodile, which would have lasted 13 hours. In my opinion, 13 hours is probably the time it took for the mugger crocodile to die, while the active fight most likely lasted less time, probably the previously mentioned hour and a half, and the tigress could just leave the wounded, overheated and dehydrated crocodile to die. The victory cost the tigress a great price, she broke three teeth, including two canines. For what purpose did Mackley try to bite off more than she could chew? Direct predation attempt seems very unlikely, because such a large crocodile is too unusual, dangerous and difficult prey to kill. Adam Britton in a personal letter and an article on Express Colorado Oak reported that Mackley attacked the crocodile to protect her cubs. This interpretation seems more likely. Sometimes it is also said that the crocodile tried to take away prey from Mackley, which also cannot be ruled out because the famous tiger specialist Val McTapar also said that Mackley, in addition to cubs, also protected her prey. It is often reported in documentaries and news articles that the crocodile killed by Mackley was 14 feet or 4 meters 27 centimeters long. Somebody I know filmed Muchley killing a crocodile. The crocodile must have been 14 feet and she swiveled it around, twisted it and killed it by a biting grip to the back of the neck. This seems like an exaggeration, unless Mackley has the body length of a very large male tiger. It seems much more plausible to estimate the total length of the killed crocodile at three and a half meters, close to 12 feet originally given by Parashar and reported by Val McTapar in a recent news article. The body length of an adult tigress without a tail is on average about 166 centimeters, and by applying this estimate to Mackley in her photograph with the mugger crocodile, I can estimate the total length of the crocodile at about three and a half meters. Usually healthy crocodiles of this length weigh between 180 and 200 kilograms, while the weight of adult female Bengal tigers ranges from 120 to 160 kilograms. However, was this mugger crocodile healthy? The popular belief that the famous crocodile specialist Adam Britton said this crocodile was sick contradicts the communication with Adam by email. In fact, he is not even aware of the result of this interaction and that the photo and video depict the same mugger crocodile. However, given the place, circumstances and time of Mockley's encounter with the mugger, it seems likely that the latter was not in the best physical condition. This was noticed even by Parashar, who called the crocodile suffering. 
In the video footage, the crocodile appears to be relatively passive, not putting up as much fight as he theoretically can. However, this can be explained by other factors or by the fact that the video may not start from the beginning of the interaction. Whatever it was, but assumptions about the poor physical condition of the mugger crocodile attacked and killed by Mapley will remain just assumptions. In any case, prolonged exposure on heat on land would quickly lead the crocodile to thermal stress, overheating and dehydration even if he was healthy. So to summarize, the tigress Mackley attacked the mugger crocodile, which weighed about a third more than her. Most likely, the main reason for the attack was the creation of a direct threat to Mackley's cubs by the crocodile. In the fight, the tigress broke three teeth, including two canines. It took 13 hours for Tigress to kill the crocodile, while it is very likely that the most active struggle took place in the first hour and a half, after which the Tigress left the wounded, overheated and dehydrated crocodile to die. Prolonged drought could have a serious impact on the physiological condition of the crocodile and make it vulnerable. After this battle, Mackley lived a long life, dying of illness on August 18. 2016 and leaving behind 11 cubs. In 2004, 2005 and 2008, Mackley and her son Jumaru were also spotted attacking several smaller crocodiles, but none of these attacks have been filmed and cannot boast of such magnitude.